the Dolce, I don't even know how to pronounce Gaba one. I don't know how they smell, but I heard they smell really well. So it's a good size one. I heard that one. And then I ordered the black polo. And then I also ordered the Versace, I don't know, some cologne. They're, they're all for men, of course, because it's for my kids, so it's okay if I open it. Um, and my husband. I have not gotten my husband anything yet, like major. I don't know, even know what to get him this year. I don't even know. He's, he's He has doesn't really need anything. Oh, this is a beautiful bottle, too. This is the Versace. Good size bottle. Uh, it smells pretty good. It's like a light, nothing different. I mean, like, from other colognes, but like a light scent. And it's the Polo. The black polo, that's what this one is. These are very good sizes. Mm, I like this one. I like this one probably for my husband. He does use polo a lot, but usually just the regular one. This is the black polo, which is a little more pricey. I actually like this one. So probably for my husband. I'll take Gamba on a, the one. Ooh, this is a fancy bottle too. It's heavy. Holy moly. Yeah. A copper kind of dark copper. This one's nice too. I might give him this my my older son. Dolce. 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 I don't even know how to say it. I'm not fancy like that. <laughs> All right. Yeah, they all come in beautiful bottles too. This is from a different company that it took forever to come in, but hopefully it's worth it. I kind of open, didn't take everything out, but these are like little, I saw, saw it on a website that popped up in my Facebook. And you know what? I've been looking for something similar to this. And this, you know how you sometimes when you order out and you get like a little extra or you don't use it like salad dressing packets those little um containers and you know you're gonna might use it later on if you find it if you put it in the correct place for you or your kids to find it. and it's broken <gasps> so mad it is broken on the side oh well uh, maybe the pieces here and i could have my hot glue it yeah, the little hook, see that? It's broken, it's supposed to have another hook on the other side, I just noticed that. And this is like a mesh. I mean, it's a very good besides it being broken. It's um like a, a kind of a mesh, clear, breathable netting kind of. And you're supposed to put these hooks on the side of your fridge, like the the door of the, like the those little shelves you have on the side of the fridge. And you could put like, those little packets here or like if you a lot of times I or when I order sushi and if we don't finish it right away we have those little um soy packets or whatever and they're perfect for here where they're accessible and easy to see that you have them in the fridge especially for my kids yeah so yeah I'm gonna see if I can find me a little part to fix that so this one is a hair dryer rack kind of organizer kind of thing look this is like a plastic acrylic they have different colors this one's gray and I think it's going to work hopefully I mean it comes with a lot of little parts These little, I think you stick this on the wall or wherever on your tile in your bathroom and then it slips into here and or here actually yeah and then you put the dryer here or your whatever. My husband has a habit. I should say he has a habit. He does it. It's not even a, well, it's a habit. <laughs> the hair dryer, he just sticks it on the counter in the bathroom and the wires are everywhere and it drives me nuts. It drives me nuts. Every morning I get up, put it away in the cabinet, in his cat little bathroom cabinet. And then he's like, why do you put it away? Why do you put it away? Well, because it's annoying to have it on the counter all the time. To me it is, anyways. So yeah, 